this is a day in my life. Things just randomly happening and you know. <laughs> this is the day in the life, y'all, for real. a vlog in the day of my life y'all um <laughs> yeah i put my alarm on this morning for um 5 30 and just was like got up felt good and all that good jazz and then somehow i fell back asleep i don't know how but i just dozed right off um Knut woke up probably around like six or so. Um, I like watched him, you know, fold his cover, everything. <laughs> and I dozed right back off to sleep. So yeah, I was having a dream about like somebody taking their babies to the pediatrician and Knut was saying like how, you know, it was so calming and like I was so calming to him on our wedding day and I'm gonna be a great mom and all these other things meanwhile I didn't even see Canute on the wedding day until it was time to get <laughs> until it was time to get married so like and he was just telling his family like just how I was just so calm to calming to him and like helping to comfort him and all these other things which is hilarious because like what so Like I was said, super hilarious, but don't make no sense um, in terms of how the day went and because I wasn't there to help him stay calm. So yeah, but that's that. Um, and I ended up waking up and it was like 7.07. .07, so my hair was still crazy looking as you all uh, saw and it's not the way I want it because my hair is still wet. Um, thankfully, there's not as much traffic, but I do still think I'm going to be late to work. Um, which I'm really hoping that I get there right on time versus being late. Cause I've, that's why I wanted to get up super early to avoid being late. So, here we are. Um, I'm just hoping that God parts the parts the traffic like he did for Moses okay because uh, I just want to get there on time but the traffic has been nuts like every single day which again that means that um, just to expect it and plan to arrive earlier than you know the traditional time which is what I was planning on doing this morning until I overslept um but I should be there too, probably just in the nick of time, which um, should be good to go. Because we have our team meetings on um, Monday mornings, and um, 
probably what I'll do for the team meetings is I gotta see I gotta see if I'm be able to show y'all that or not um, because usually in the team meetings I am uh, either listening in or facilitating and we often too talk about like clients and stuff like that so obviously talking about clients I'm not able to, we may not have I'm not able to share because obviously uh, it's HIPAA purposes but at the same time uh, we should have many updates because it's coming off a weekend so there really shouldn't be much to talk about however as I always say I always I don't just be wanting to put my uh, staff on my blogs and stuff especially if they didn't ask where they didn't want to be on there so I gotta see how I could maneuver that if I'm able to show y'all or not also to a little sad note I'm still kind of like nervous with the camera and stuff so that was probably like what is daddy doing with a camera or like oh she's doing YouTube let me go search her even though I know people go to find me I don't like to like know that people are going to search <laughs> for me y'all I just hit a bunch of traffic ah and I think I just uh, pass my client <laughs> on the way. We try to beat each other. They can't beat me. They used to be early when I like come. They be in the parking lot sometimes. Ah, uh, y'all, I hope I make it. Dang it! It's like traffic, y'all. It was like smooth sailing, then like traffic. I don't know, but. We'll figure it out. I'm definitely giving like Jerry Curl Juice vibes today, and I am not happy about it. But it is what it is. I gotta let my hair dry before I start doing all the teasing and all that extra stuff. But it's moving a little bit, the, the uh, traffic again. I'll probably GPS to see how long it'll take me to get there because sometimes that helps to ease my anxiety if I just know like girl you just gonna be late accept it and move on or like yay you'll get there right on time My name is Nandy. Is it your last name? Yeah. And your call back number? 862-253-3109. Is that a direct line? Yes. Thank you. And the provider's ID or the NPI. Received a notice that my request for services was denied. <laughs> to go with the client, finish up some emails, and wait on the call. I'm about to head to run some errands. Um, there was a staff anniversary the other day, and sometimes I just be doing the most and creating things that I probably shouldn't establish because then I got to keep up with it. Um, however, we celebrate staff anniversaries and I usually get something nice for them and put a little basket of things together for them based upon what they like or what they have told us that they like. Um, so I try to do that and then on our anniversary or birthdays or things like that, get them some of those things that they have shared, shared that they like. Um, I'm going to run to 
five below, pick up some things. Um, probably going to also run to um, Home Depot as well because I have to finish up some stuff from the other day um, that I wasn't able to get. And when the clients go for the I have a meeting later today and then when the clients leave for the day, I'm going to do some cleaning up to prepare for the visit that we're having tomorrow. Okay, y'all. Hit Dollar Tree. Five below Dollar Tree. Somebody complimented me on my hair and asked me how I get my curls like this. So, I told her I use. Um, she said, I don't think mine will do that because um, my hair is not as thick as yours. But how do you keep your curls? So, I told her I use curl defining um, cream and then gel. And she's like, oh, it doesn't look crunchy. I was like, because I layer it. But also, too, I'm like... This is a braid out and it's with out. And I'm like, my hair is mad thick. So yours probably won't be able to do both. Like the cream and the gel. Because the cream is heavy and it's probably won't weigh her hair down based on her texture. But yes, yeah, so I was like, oh. And then somebody called me beautiful. This lady, I held the door. She's like, thank you, beautiful. I said, oh. Look at that. Just kind words. Kind, kind, kindness. I love it. I love it. But let me hit on at Home Depot. See y'all in a bit. trip I've had to Home Depot um and I'm proud of myself like because I got to get back to the office I got the liquid nail and I got a cover I actually ended up switching out the cover because I found one that was much cheaper and considering that this is not my property I'm not going to <laughs> invest in something that's more expensive because it's not mine to keep so yeah, got that. This is a day in my life. Things just randomly happening and you know. <laughs> this is a day in the life, y'all, for real. Alright, so we are pulling up. We oh, got a PSU. We are Penn State. They got a PSU license plate, y'all. So Costco is in front of me. I gotta find a place to park. I gotta make it quick. I'm going in here for paper towels and some soap. And um, can I get closer? Can I get a spot closer? I might. I might. I might. I should just park there. And just said, it is what it is. This lady's coming out. Oh, they coming out. <laughs> Look at God. Look at God. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Look at God. He be making a way. When I tell you the Lord will make a way, baby, He will make a way. Okay? Because I was just saying, I should park there. And God said, baby girl, just hold up. I got two spaces for you. Not one, but two. Asking you shall receive. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. All right, y'all. Let's go into Costco. I don't know if y'all can see it. Costco's in the bag. I gotta grab my Costco card from my book bag. So let's let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it quick. In and out. Five minutes. That's it. Boom. All right, y'all. So we left Costco. In and out. They're getting a little strict at Costco. So I'm wondering if people have been. Sorry for this angle because I know I look crazy. But I'm wondering if people have been using other people's membership cards because. Um, they're like checking the, the pictures on the cars and doing a lot, which is not typical of Costco. I don't know if, you know, if it's a thing now or if it's just because I'm the time I'm coming, but they never, like, especially if you're doing self-checkout, they never will tell you like, oh, you know, let me see your picture and all of that. So I'm on my way to the cleaners really quick to pick up something. Um, I had forgot I had at the cleaners and then I had a meeting at three with my psychotherapist which I'm running a little bit behind when I got like five minutes to spare so literally I'll probably be just logging on with her like probably a minute or two after the time frame and then I have to unload so I'm probably gonna have my front uh office 
staff helped me with unloading all the stuff. Hey y'all, I am back home. Um, just kind of like unpacked my lunch bag and like some stuff I got from the store, so that's behind me. Um, also, I had purchased this like refrigerator calendar, so I figured we could put it together. Um, Canute and I travel. Well, Canute really is the one that travels. I travel a little bit. I do a little razzle dazzle here and there, but he travels a lot, so ooh, perfect. So I figured I should get us a um, calendar. At first, I got this the other day from. Target yesterday actually from Target, but um, it just wasn't what I needed, so I ordered this. So here is the calendar that I'm gonna be filling out. It is so cute. I think it was maybe like 20 bucks on Amazon, and then it also came with these really cool markers. So I'm going to mark out the time that I will be out of the house, and then I'm gonna also mark out the time that Knut will be out and do it for. Uh, this month y'all I really love this and the month is June June is for prosperity love um Knut and I's anniversary three months is the 23rd I'll put a little ring on it period that'll be cute this is not what this is for and I think what I'm gonna do as well y'all is put a scripture in the month like scripture of the month date night like our goal for it i don't want to make it like a chore but like our goal for date nights because i feel like sometimes i get so just like in the midst of work and stuff like that that i'm like dang did me and my like did i even take a moment to like do what i wanted to do with my man i feel like this month i'm honestly in kind of like a uh like a mixture of like rebirthing and also going with the flow there's been a lot that i've been going through in general um as a whole like honestly for the past two years or so but like i just feel like this year i was like okay this is a year like i can just breathe a bit but then it was like boom 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 non-stop non-stop things just going on um especially more so like not in my personal life but more so um in my business so i really honestly want to make sure that I am like just kind of like I don't I don't want to say like rebirthing myself, um, but like slowing down because like even when I was coming in the house, I'm like um, banging up my body on different things, and I'm like, girl, if you just slow down, you would be fine. Like slow it down. You always moving. You just do too much. Like slow down. So I'm gonna see if there's a a, um, a Bible verse. Or slowing down or rest Peter 5 7 and it is cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you and then I'm gonna do another one which was Exodus 33 14 and he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest so I feel like those are fitting for like what my season is right now I'm um, just needing to rest so I'm just gonna put that as my like scripture of the month will be the scripture and then I'll write the other one as well because boy oh boy the things that I've been going through your girl has like literally been on the verge of like yo am I like getting anxiety like I obviously everybody has a a, a little bit of you know anxiety is normal but i'm like yeah i'm feeling mad anxious i'm feeling mad weird um in my body so i was like okay even i had a point in time y'all where i'm like what are what let me remind myself of the signs of like depression honestly because i just was in like a slump and not like continuously it would just have moments of um just being in a slump and like what is going on just because of all the stuff that I've been going through and one day I'll do like a story time um for just everything and, and some of the things that I've been you know going through and stuff like that just to share because obviously I'm aware that you know my my journey 
has helped has helped and can help others so just making sure that i'm sharing you know some of the things that i've been through and then hope hopeful that with sharing it'll bless someone else and it'll help someone else so that's kind of where i'm at with it i'm erasing this off of this board because those are the things i purchased already from the store when i went to costco's today and already wrote our travel plans over here so we don't need that anymore um so just before i kind of like wrap my day in the life up i'll give y'all an update on some of the things that i was doing when we were when i was at the center so you all didn't get a chance to see but i um had a meeting with the psychotherapist which went great i always tell her like she makes me act like a fool i just like totally let my hair down um i'm i'm still professional but i like to have fun and I'm, i just show my myself you know fully and authentically um, which I think I do in general, but I think she brings out the goofy side of me. So we always have a good time when we have our supervision meetings. Um, so that's what I did, which you all did not get to see. Um, I had brought this fan, um, which for Pride Month. So it's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Um, but I brought this fan, which was rainbow color for Pride Month. So um I had uh, flipped the fan every time when it was just something, just being dramatic. So I had that like little uh, fan that you like flip out like that. So I had like flipped the fan and would fan myself in supervision, just doing the absolute most, but she was laughing. So I think that it helps just to, just to have some fun, you know, cause the day to day, the things that we go through as clinicians and experience and stuff like that can be really heavy. So it's really nice when you have the opportunity to like, just have fun in, in you know, the midst of all the, the chaos that's going on around you and or in the world today. Um, so I did that. After that, what else did I do, y'all? I, um, y'all saw, look, y'all already saw me go do my errands and stuff like that. I met with her. After that, I had to do some light, um, handy girl work around the uh, center. Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me land some of the towel in the center, which was hilarious. And um, I also have, we also have a couple staff anniversaries coming up. So um, I had to go and put together a basket. I usually like to give them something nice for their anniversary. So I put together a little basket of their favorite things and I need to finish that up when I go back tomorrow. But uh, we also, I also had purchased a lot of different like sensory items and fidgets and like fun things for the kids for, for reinforcers today as well when I was out and about. So uh, me and the clinical director kind of divvied those things up in the kids um, by like in their uh, bins just so they can have it tomorrow and be excited hopefully and want to continuously learn and grow their brains because of all the fun things that happen when you're learning you're growing your brain um and after that what i do straightened up open some mail um what else did i do that took the some of the trash out literally that that was it i'm so sad that you all could not see a day the full day of my life but um i hope that you got a glimpse every day is not the same so i will most certainly do more um day in the life as a uh entrepreneur day in the life as a business owner day in the life as a wife day in the life as a bcba day in the life as an lcsw day in the life as nandy <laughs> because i hold so many titles and it's just crazy all the things that i have to do on the day to day um so for the most part i am going to wrap up this day in the life however my day is still going because i have session notes that i need to complete and I also have uh, got some feedback from my dissertation chair. Um, so I need to look at the email to see what she emailed me in regards to what I need to fix for my dissertation. So your girl is busy, your girl is tired, but I'm here, I'm gonna relax and rest. <laughs> And I'm gonna cast all my anxieties onto God, okay? Because he cares for me. And that's what I've been doing. Just like, let go, let God, figure it out, God. Cause this on you, okay? Um, but 
Love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video. However, please, 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 please leave some comments below. Tell me what you want to see more of. I am trying to hold myself accountable to just showing up in general and um that is something that i want to do in june and moving forward i have all these goals of things that i would love to do and i'm really just trying to show up as that person so if you want to see certain videos from me please comment um below i would love to hear your thoughts and i will catch you all in the next video bye